Hi, Carl Winkler here at Electrosonics. In this video, I'll show you our two digital slot mount receivers, the DSR dual channel unit and the DSR4 quad channel unit. These are fifth generation descendants of our expansive and extremely popular SR line of unislot and super slot receivers that originated in 2007. These new receivers are compatible with D2 and HDM mono digital modes, Duet and DCHX stereo digital modes, and they're backwards compatible with digital hybrid transmitters. This means that you can use these new receivers with any of the mono or stereo digital or hybrid transmitters we've made in the past 20 years. Let's start with a tour of the features both receivers have in common. The DSR and DSR4 use SMA antenna connectors mounted on the front panel and feature the same wideband tuning found in the DCR822 and DCHR. This means we have only four frequency variants of each, one covering the A1B1 band, one for the B1C1, one for the 941 MHz band, and then one for the 961 MHz band in the UK. RF filtering and front-end architecture are based on other recently developed products like the DCR822. In other words, RF performance is top-notch. Both receivers offer analog or AES-3 digital outputs built in. This way, standard bottom plates can carry the digital audio into the slot or external connectors. Audio performance of these units is 20 Hz to 20 kHz depending on the related transmitter settings. The DSR and DSR4 both offer two-way and one-way IR sync. Two-way for all current digital transmitters and one-way for the hybrid transmitters with infrared like the SSM, HMA, and SMWB series. Both receivers are designed to interface with Wireless Designer natively so that frequency management and system monitoring are a snap, even in large channel count situations. And as mentioned before, the DSR and DSR4 have compatibility modes for D2 and HDM mono digital modes, Duet and DCHX stereo digital modes, along with NA, NU, EU, and JA hybrid modes. Our transmitter offerings are vast and unique, thus making the new receivers part of an enormous and varied system customizable to just about any need you might have. Now let's take a look at the differences. Because the DSR4 has four receiver channels and is slightly longer than previous generation SR units, there are new accessories for it, for mounting, powering, and audio outputs, such as the DSR4 EXT, DSR4 Super, and DSR4 Bat Sled Top, just to name a few. Different bezel adapters are also needed for camera mounting in either Unislot type or Sony cameras, or dock mounting in the Octopack or Quad Pack. Note that while the DSR has two physical variants, one with and one without the 5P connector, the DSR4 has the 5-pin external connector built into the top panel, so there is no need for a second variant. Let's look at the front panel and display of the DSR. Notice the high-resolution display similar to that in the DCR822, while the buttons and functions should be familiar to Electrosonics users. The menu structure is similar to that of the DCR822, grouped by functional areas like RF setup, audio setup, compat modes, IR and keys, and settings. Navigating the menus is straightforward and quick. The DSR4 front panel and display are a little different. Rather than membrane switches, this one has tactile buttons. The display is high resolution and full color to make it easier to navigate the menus by functional areas, but also to show activity and alerts on all four receiver channels, almost like a mini DSQD. The menu structure itself is again similar to the DCR822 and grouped by functional areas. The bottom line for any receiver is RF performance, and both the DSR and DSR4 were designed from the ground up to offer excellent results even in challenging situations with digital and hybrid transmitters. For more information, check out our website for the data sheets and manuals. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Carl Winkler. Thanks for watching.